Thank you, Quagmire. Perhaps there are some men who would like to say a few words. Yo! What it is, guys? It's your boy Blast from HD. And you guys have sent me a Family Guy Try Not to Laugh challenge in the DMs of the Discord. Let's do this. Well, there goes my music career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. Oh, Stewie, that's incredible. Oh, hey guys. Peter, what do you have there? Give me the scissors. I was just gonna make some masks. Use your scissors. They're not sharp. Ah! All right, guys, keep an eye out for our stuff. I got tired of not being able to find my bag, so I tied a vaguely Hanna-Barbera-looking character to it. This trip was imposterous. There we go. Best part is, I don't even have to get on a plane. I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me! I'm being stolen! Excuse me, I think you've got mine. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, now the device is powered by kinetic energy, so you've got to dance to make it work. You, uh, really? Yeah, you've got to dance. God, what, what are you doing, you tool? Do you know anything about science? You just saw me program it. Peter, what are you doing here? You're not a member. And that means me and the other jocks get to throw you in the pool. Hey, Banks, Duffy, get over here. This guy's going for a swim. Grab him. <laughs> Oh. Wow, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So who are you taking to Fenway? <laughs> well, I was just thinking you have that extra ticket. Maybe you'd want to... Peter, before you answer him, I've got that murdered jogger's disc man you wanted last week. Still bloody. Hi, Peter. You know how you like $40 cash? Well, here's almost $40 cash. <clears throat> All right, you're kind of heavy, so, so, so we're going to pee on you. Not happening. All right, all right, we'll just spit on you. What type of no, shit? Nothing we have works. Oh my God, Stewie, it, it worked. We're in Vegas. Yeah, all right. Well, let's hit the hospital, get checked for teleportation cancer, and then party. Guys, look, I know you all want to go, but I, I need a little more time to figure this out. I mean, it, it's a tough decision, like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you that's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. Well, since the teleportation machine failed to get us to Vegas, I suppose we should just catch our plane. I'll repair it when we get back. You know, this is going to be a good trip, Brian. I really feel like fate is on our side. Scissors are jerks. And I'm an owl. You look really handsome today, Chris. Thanks, Amanda. Hey, Chris, say it. I use Stuart Griffin Facial Cleanser. Try some. Give her the website. StewieGriffinFacial.com. No, 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 that, that, that's something else. It's StewieGriffinFacialCleanser.com. Why don't you bring Lois? She doesn't care about baseball, and that way nobody gets their feelings hurt. Brian, that's a great idea. Thanks. Is it new tennis ball great? It's three new tennis balls great. I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get them all. <laughs> this is miserable. Three-hour delay and a completely full flight. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. What was her problem? I didn't even think you liked baseball. Oh, I'm not going for baseball. I I'm going for shopping, the hotel spa, and two days of being away from you life-sucking turds. Anyway, be good. And while we're gone, Brian's in charge. Where is Brian? What's up, bitches? Oh, you're a funny guy, Griffin. I like that. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You... What? Why? Ooh! Ooh! Yep, drink it in, Bry. Time to enjoy all the Bellagio has Ooh. to offer. Classic architecture, beautiful art. Plus, the air is clean because they suck up all the cigarette smoke and dump it in the bad hotels. Smell that, kids? It's been in a rich person's mouth. I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? 
Okay, now you heard Mom say I'm in charge, so I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything sure, running smoothly. Gotta have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore or two because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way, ah! I'm going to flush your retainer down the toilet. Oh my god, I don't believe it! Brian, we won! Look at this, Lois, the Fenway Park locker room. All right, Peter, I'm gonna go. Uh, you wanna hand me some cash in front of the other men so you feel powerful? Instead, why don't you just take my Minions Discover card? Ah, damn it, Vegas! Griffin, you're up. It's always the fat one. I heard that. I said it right to you. We just gotta be bold, like those backwards knee birds. Oh, what, what, oh, what, what, what are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope, nope, I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you This is supposed to be my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're all booked up because the slut convention's in town. Slut convention? Yeah, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? Because, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I don't think those rich guys have it all that great. Too much stress. You know, you give me the choice, I'll choose our life any day of the week. Me too, Peter. Can I have $50 to get my hair cut? Absolutely not. That's a waste of money. I will cut it myself. You look like garbage. What happened? All right, think. Ah, I shall fashion a makeshift ladder with my diaper genie entrails, shimmy down to the yard, and I'm free! The trick, Chris, is thinking of the wand as an extension of your arm. Wow, I can't believe I'm pretend bowling with a dog on drugs! I know. I actually thought I was going to win big and get that plastic surgery I always wanted. Oh, my God! Look at him! He's so cute! <laughs> yep. I'm small, so this is okay. Oh, hi, you guys. How was school? Honestly, Mom, today was kind of weird. Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool and then have their parents sign it. What? That seems crazy. One time I saw him pee in a urinal with his hands on his hips. That's pretty boss. Oh. Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god, a baby! My name's Shelly. I can't have any of my own. Would you like to come home with me? I love you so much. Ah, everywhere's a nightmare! Did you fellas say you were in a bit of a fix? My buddy's got the inside track on a basketball game. It's a sure thing. I like how all your teeth are different shapes. Why are you telling us this? I mean, what do you want from us? Honestly, I'm trying to sell my condo, and I need people to come to the open house and talk about how nice it is. <laughs> Good morning, students. Today at 3.30, James Woods High will be hosting a cross-country meet, which also happens to be where Lorraine has threatened to take my children across the country. And here's today's Tuesday trivia question. Does this sound like yelling? Because apparently this sounds to some people like yelling. Wow! The price per square foot is quite competitive with similar homes in the area. Yes, I also love it. I will likely purchase it unless others put in a rival bid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time. I just remembered my husband is a total chicken Oh. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing anymore. Ah! Damn it! I think it's broken! Griffin! What are you, an idiot? Yeah, an idiot who's gonna show up on Sports Center tonight. Coming up after the break, we'll have highlights of the playoff game between the- Streaking unrelated. Students, faculty, and staff of James Woods High. Does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Get the puck out of my neighborhood! Motherfucker, what? Go puck yourself! Uh-oh, here come the real cops. Hockey cop, not a cop. Motherfucker! That sounded really good! Thanks, babe. Hey, you know what that song's about? Bill Collins watching some guy watch another guy drown. 
And then the next night, he invited the watching guy to be in the front row of his concert so he could sing it right to him and they could arrest the guy. I suppose. I just wish we didn't have to borrow money from a loan shark. I mean, that guy seemed pretty serious. Okay, and just a couple of remaining items. Please indicate here if I look like a schmuck to you. I'm gonna say no. Great. Then please check here and initial there. Shut up! We're in trouble! I'm in trouble! Hey, what's this? A dickweed convention? Stewie! Oh, thank God you're home! Where the hell have you been? As far away from her as possible! I forgot her name, honestly. Who, Meg? Yes, yes, Meg. Uh, next, do you think this is some kind of game? Um, no. Okay, initial please. And finally, my date of birth. Was it yesterday? Really? Why wouldn't he have just helped the guy who was drowning? I don't know, I think he was on a bridge or something. Like, he could see it, but he couldn't get there in time. But he let a whole day pass? Why didn't he call the cops? Because he was busy writing a song. I got the boiler up and running, Mr. Griffin. Well, we don't have a boiler, but I can't wait to see what you've done in the cellar. Oh, also, please rub the H and the C off all the knobs so people won't know what the hell's going on. I want the first four minutes of every shower to be confusion and anger. I've got a bad feeling, Brian. I've got a good feeling, Brian. I'm gonna get me that honey. Wait, if he just watched, doesn't that also make him a little guilty? Look, I'm not saying we wouldn't bring Phil Collins in for questioning. I feel like maybe this story is bogus. Now, hang on, let me check Snopes. Yeah, none of that happened. <sighs> Welcome, members of our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. I know a number of our students have felt traumatized by the events of this week. And we take those concerns very seriously. Wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. Oh, ah, son of a bitch. Well, I better leave a note. It's the right thing to do. Lois, well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. Mother... Well, I wasn't going to tell you till later, but I actually used part of my portion to take care of some personal business. All right, fine. What are you talking about? I'm a natural leader. That's why I'm so good at leading Simon Says. Simon Says, leave the band. I'm done with this gum now. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. All right, James Woods High cheerleaders, give me a hand. Check him out. Check, check him out. My name is Peter. Check. That ain't no lie. Check. I go pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, how sweet it is. Check, check. Yep, her leg is fractured. We should get her to the hospital. My only medical training is to say walk it off. Can you walk it off? No. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to go fake use the phone in the dugout. Peter, what the hell got into you? Nothing. I was just trying to play hard, like Pete Rose. Look, I could even do the Pete Rose haircut. I bet you a thousand bucks I have a drinking problem. Dad, I don't want you to do this. Too late. I've already been practicing giving students awkward and uncoordinated high fives. Chris, if I may. Yay! Two fingers inside of the palm contact. Perfect! Well, we should probably head home. Definitely. Um, uh, the only thing is I'm a little short. Is there any chance you could cover me for the ticket? Oh, let me see how much I have. Mm. Good news, I have just enough. All right, I gotta get to work by 740 because that's when high school starts for some reason. See you at the way too early 1040 lunch. Hey. Hey. Mm -mm. I feel you, Meg. Shut up. You shut up. All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's gonna be some changes around here. And what better way to show you I'm serious than to smash a desk with a baseball bat? You're not playing in the game. It's supposed to be a fun day out here, and you go nuts and break your wife's leg. Well, it's not my fault. I'm all hopped up on hard baseball card gum. Mmm. It's like eating a MasterCard. Oh. 
Ah! Oh. Peter's brain. Yeah, uh, this is the muscle department. What the hell is he doing? Uh, apparently he's trying to sprint. Sprint? He got winded walking to the plate. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. Oh! He's tall, get it? <laughs> Lamar Odom really was with a lot of prostitutes, wasn't he? blazing sun for two days. Has he had any water? No, he told his wife there's juices in the hot dogs. Well, I'm sorry. I got no choice but to call for a complete muscle failure. <laughs> okay, we'll pick this up on Monday. Do any of you know my wife, Lois? Tell her I'm on the bats and to come get me. She'll know what it means. Good morning, children. I am your interim principal, Mr. Griffin. And to show I'm a fun principal, I'm gonna do the ice bucket challenge. Three years too late, but right on time for a principal. And making no less sense than it did when it was current. <laughs> hey, guys, guys. When Borat was making announcements over to PA this morning, that was me. What? Shut the front door! Taco Tuesday is nice. Now, you little punks, get to class. And if you see Miss Milliken, tell her I said, hey, what's up? <sighs> is that Let's just go. <laughs> they won. Oh, we'll see about that. Hello, I'd like to report a brothel operating on Route 6 near Round Hill Road. Thank you. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on. You would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. <gasps> I love how they make sure not to play the music. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money because there's no way I'm going to change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work! <laughs> I'm telling you, that dog is very easily persuaded. Any cards, Peter? No, I'm good. Oh, here comes the UPS guy. Oh, I bet he's delivering those marmalade jars we ordered. Doesn't that feel like a million years ago? And next time I want to get back at your bullies, I'll do it the old-fashioned way, as a grown man beating up teenagers in a parking lot. I'm planning on dying tonight. <laughs> what are your plans? Oh, no. I wouldn't yeah, we don't need those anymore. Guy. Sorry, you just send them back. You can just do that? Oh, yeah, you can just refuse delivery. You, you've never done that? I, I genuinely did not know you could do that. Well, you can. Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Everyone does it. Hey, you! You salute that flag when you walk by, kid. Loads of people fought for that thing, including yours truly. Y you were in the service? I may have misunderstood what yours truly means. The school board received a very serious complaint. Mr. Griffin, you are hereby relieved of your duties. <gasps> A promotion? No, you're fired. Any other softball-related questions? Yeah, I got a question. Can we leave our bad-for-the-environment styrofoam coolers behind when we leave? Yes, you must leave them behind, and they must be in a crumbly mess so that the city cleanup workers have to chase the little bits when the wind blows. I don't even know what those are. What's Teslic? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslik, that's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. Hey, Goldman's Pharmacy, can you fill out a prescription for us for diarrhea? We're about to get the runs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, chick batter. Everyone bring it in. Bring it on in. Get oh. a hit, babe! You know it, babe. The lesbian. All right, move it back. back. Move it back. You have lesbian. an amazing speaking voice. My name's Randy. I can get you steady work with a voice like that. Really? Wow, thank you. It, this is great. Now I won't have to become a Mary Kay saleswoman. 
So what makes these shampoos different from the ones at the supermarket? These shampoos have been in my car. Man, high school is rough. This year it's sneakers. Last year it was all about being overweight and wearing a baseball cap. Hey, guys. Sure hope we win the big game on Saturday. Get lost, dork. Yeah, gain some weight, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all the years to be trim and well-hatted. Come on, Jerome. Get a hit so I can bring a sports trophy home for my parents. Jeffrey Lipschitz has two soccer medals. I can't play soccer. I have newborn camp ankles. You know this, damn it. Good morning, Lois. How's it going, Brian? Peter, what happened to your voice? Oh, you know what happened, you sexy minx. My white blood cells attacked the pathogens and created antibodies, and then the pathogens were filtered out by my kidneys into my urine and then expelled from my body, you slut. Mom, Dad, I need to get new sneakers. What? I just bought you new sneakers. I know, but I need cooler ones. Shut up and stop complaining. When I was your age, I didn't even have sneakers. We wore stale hamburger buns. No, you didn't, Peter. Shh, he didn't know that. He's just a dumb, fat loser. Did you see his shoes? Horace, are you okay? Oh, my God, he's really hurt bad. You're out of the baseline, by the way. You're out. Game's over. But, oh, my God, Horace is really hurt. <sighs> Let's put some leaves on him and go get some ice cream. Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Barbara Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? He uses regular bullets. He uses regular bullets! Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Like when you're the only one at the table where the waiter doesn't say good order. I'll have the halibut? Ah, great choice. One of the chef's specialties. You'll love it. It was caught fresh less than 10 miles from here. I'll have the New York strip steak. Mmm, my absolute favorite dish here. It is a spectacular cut, superbly seasoned, and the marbling is some of the best I've ever seen. And I'll have the chicken. Mm-hmm. Meg, have you seen Dad? Yeah, he's at the dentist. He's trying to get sick. Okay, go ahead and spit. It's okay, go ahead. Remember when I was a horse whisperer? <laughs> That's right. I bet you're hungry. It's okay. I <laughs> eh, calmed you down, you horse. All right, Chris, I figured out a great way to get sick. I'm going to be a woman at work who cannot get sick right now. Sweetie, maybe you need to go home. I'm not going home. I cannot get sick right now. I have way too much to do. Good afternoon. I'd just like to say that before today, Ooh. I didn't know the Munsters were driving around in a funeral car. I'm beginning to think everything on that show was a big joke. Well, oh, come on, Dad. There's no cash in here. Just a bunch of cards that say, I farted on your car with his insurance info. It's okay. Everyone will understand. No, I cannot get sick right now. There's Kendra's birthday and the baby shower, and with this move, I, I just cannot get sick right now. I have to finish typing this. Typing this. Uh... That's it. I'm taking you home. Achoo! You did this to me! <laughs> ah! You did this to me! I had, um... I just, like... <sighs> when, when you lose... Um, there's so, there's so much. Can I get you anything else? Uh, two more Cokes, please. Could you excuse me? Hello? Damone, it's Peter. I'm at my date and I left my wallet at home. Will you please borrow your mom's car, drive to my house, get my wallet and bring it back here? There's so much... You... I, I just... Thank you, Quagmire. Perhaps there are some men who would like to say a few words. Yo! The History Channel presents Where in World Yo! War II is Waldo? Oh my god! Peter! No, oh, I'm leaving. I cannot get sick right now. Damone, are you there? Damone? Yeah. <sighs>
Jeez, I'm really kind of busy. Come on, just do me this one favor. All right, but you owe me for this one. Oh, thanks, Damone. And that was the last we ever saw of him. You know, I could use some part-time help here preparing the bodies if you're interested. Really? Yeah, th that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. Anyway, I need you to drive me to Middleborough. Middleborough? That's like two hours from here. I'm not doing that. Come on, Brian. Tell you what, you drive me to Middleborough, and I'll teach you my secret to picking up chicks. Hey, you, me, baboom, huh? Okay, Chris, I want to wear contacts, work. but I'm too squeamish to put them in myself, so you need to help me. Really? Is it that hard? My eyes are too sensitive. It's like they overreact or something. Okay. Huh? <laughs> ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it, just put the lens in! We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No thanks, I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Don't worry, Glenn. I'm one woman who knows a thing or two about sports. Yeah, I know you think you are. Your softball chatter made that quite clear. Okay, that's two down, guys. Two outs. Two out of the three outs required. Okay, guys, let's go. Tom Brady is a quarterback. Okay, heads up. Two down. College football is on Saturday. Okay, come on. Look alive. But where do I put it? The pupil's gone. Your eye just looks like a ping pong ball. I think it rolled up into my head. Look, just... Just do the other one! Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! Ah! 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 Eh, it could be fun, I guess. Besides, I haven't done anything new since I learned how to use a palm front. Oh, so, do I try to match your speed? Yeah, just match my speed. And do we stagger our waves or do them at the same time? Um, they should have covered this in orientation. Guards, have the new guy executed. Am I the new guy? Drinking is the only thing holding this friendship together. Everything we try to do sober just ends badly. I just don't think a good way to start a screenplay is 400 years ago in Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah, and don't you think it's confusing that every character in the movie is named Movie Guy? Come on, you guys. The Oscars are next week, so let's get this done. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Take that, you jagoffs. I hope you die. God, Quagmire gets so competitive with sports. Hey, Quagmire, it's just a game. Take it easy. I'm not gonna take it easy. These guys are going down. You're going down in front of all these people. Hello. All two of them. Some hardcore right? Wow. Thank you for turning me on to something so amazing. Hey, I'm just glad you enjoyed it. And I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you had bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment? And beyond. Let's face it, there's only one drinking spot for us, and it's the clam. But, Peter, it's closed. We can't go in there. Quagmire, when a girl says she doesn't want to have sex with you, do you take that as an answer? My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. All right, Lois, it's all up to you. We only need six to beat the pinheads. And it'd be four if someone could have hit that 7-10 split, right? Joe, 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 Joe. Can't stand it. I'm sure he'll be home later. Well, I hope so. We were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! Come on, guys. This is trespassing and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Oh, what's this? What's this? It says right here we won! We won, you dicks! You suck! Um, excuse me, would you mind keeping it down? We're having my son's birthday party over here. Yeah, sure, 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 honey. What's his name? Mikey. Happy birthday, Mikey! Yeah! Well, I'm glad you enjoy my music. Would you like to come in? We'd love to. Wow, nothing says success like free on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. I'll get there. I did it! I did it! You're crazy, man. You're so crazy. <laughs> Guys, what did he this do? is where we belong. Yeah, no question about that. Yeah, we got roots here. We've been coming to this place for 15 years. Our roots go back further than that. My grandfather used to bring me here when I was a kid. To the clam! To yeah. here! And to brain-damaging venereal disease. I wake up with blood on my penis pillow. I'm gonna go insane in a wheelchair, staring at the sea. 
Well, you know, that's just the way I always interpreted the song. But I suppose Gene probably could have explained it better than I. Who's Gene? Gene McClellan. He wrote the song. I see. But you wrote all your other songs, right? No, all of my songs were written by other people. Oh. My. God! All right, Chris. Where is it? And don't try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Fine, you caught me. So I borrowed your bra. My boobs hurt when I go down the stairs. As a singer, I've been blessed to interpret the works of many gifted, sensitive songwriters. Oh. So you're just a big liar. She does seem kind of dirty. Yeah, someone should write, wash me in the dust on that flat ass. Ha! <laughs> oh, move over, funny man Richard Lewis. We got Richard Lois. Well, here we are. Oh, great. Hey, maybe on the ride home, someone else can tell a story. To the clown. Yo, you, what, your hair looks stupid. All, all, the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in, the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mr. Plow, all the greatest moments of my life. Does anyone have any questions so far? Who's that up there? Oh, that's our gunman. Every once in a while, one of our toys becomes real, and we have to make sure it doesn't get out. This is not the way out. This is not the way out. Why is, why is label guy trying to punch me? Punch you first, label guy. I gotta go pee. I don't I wanna, don't wanna get up. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? No, oh, smile's private. I made a birdhouse at school today. Oh, looks an awful lot like the governor's mansion from Benson. It is. I'm fond of the series, and I wanted the local birds to be aware of that. Well, I'll be on the lookout for great tits. Peter! Well, actually, Lois, that's a species of bird that's known to frequent domestic birdhouses. It's why I've always wanted a birdhouse. Chris? Mr. Dugan's wake is tomorrow, and there's going to be a body in that casket. If it's not his, it's going to be yours. Hey, guys, what's going on? And no one says anything, which means they hate it. Come on, Dad! Maybe we can get the birds to act out the Benson where a scheduling snafu forces the governor to decide between meeting the president or going to Katie's school play. <laughs> Scatterbrain, Governor. I am so hungover. Oh, me too. But luckily, when I'm hungover, I can just molt into another Peter. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but for the next ten minutes, I'll be very vulnerable to predators. <gasps> Mountain lion, make yourself look big! Oh, hey, Peter. Oh, hey. Did you have fun at the game? Oh, yeah, it was so exciting. They scored the winning hit right at the buzzer. I'm sorry you missed it. Yeah, no, that, that's okay. I, I've just been hanging out here, having a great time with... Meg? Hey. I thought you was a bag of peeling potatoes. All right, we're almost at our jumping altitude. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I got one. Can I listen to my iPod on the way down? Of course. Just as long as it's not Tom Petty's Free Fallen. I'll just keep it in my pocket. Any other questions? Let's do this! That wasn't a question. Back of the line. Okay, let's do this! Hey! Wow! Look! Petty bastard. You built a great birdhouse, son. I'm real proud of you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh. No! What just happened? What was that thing? I don't know. Some kind of super bird. Or maybe an average bird who bought a Bowflex. Guys, they found him. Don't bother with the posters. My God, what is Peter thinking? Yes, he's crazy as a serial killer. All right, what do you want for your last meal? Uh, I think I'll just have a salad dressing on the side. I had a huge last lunch. That was the start of the dark times. The banks took our bars, our businesses, and then our homes. A change had to be made. A change only one man could make. I am the wind maker. And I shoot monkeys now. Well, that super bird ruined everything! Indeed, a force to be reckoned with, like Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu. Secretary Chu, Ways and Means has sent over a preliminary budget. It looks like the Department of Energy is looking at a 4% budget cut. <laughs> okay, no budget cut. No budget cut. I'm sorry, guys, but it's my job. I got a family to support. That jerk! How could he desert us? Relax, Quagmire. He's just doing his job. You'll forgive him. Just like Kathleen Turner forgave her mirror. Sorry. Turns out you were right about me. Stewie, we're never going to find him. They're all exactly the same. Wow, I wish you could hear how racist you sound right now. Come on, can't you give that giraffe at home another chance? 
you know, for every one they sell, they save a giraffe in the wild. Sorry, giraffe. They only bought one. Nah, they returned it. Has anyone seen your father? It's almost six o'clock. I am here. Family, I want you to meet my falcon, Xerxes. I'm a falconer now. And yet for Christmas, I got a wrapped scrambled egg. You'd be a hero. Well, I, I could try. I mean, I am a pretty good actor. Remember how upset I seemed to get when Lois said she was leaving town with the kids for a few days? Oh, my God. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Don't forget to call and let me know exactly when you'll be back. Get out. Peter, get rid of that thing right now and eat your dinner. No. I am a falconer, and I will eat whatever Xerxes brings me. Feed master. Peter, what the hell? For Xerxes, every meal is a pageant. Joe, wait. Put your gun down. There's no point in fighting anymore. We'll leave quietly. Like hell you will. This is our clam, and we are not going to let them take it. Yeah! All right! Yeah! All right. We love Joe! Whoa, is that Harrison Ford? Yeah, it said in the brochure that he assists with all the jumps. Get off my plane! Get off my plane! Get off my plane! Oh, look, he even brought Callista Flockhart with him. Uh, Peter, I think that's just a piece of paper. Good, because she looked fat. Hey, Peter. Oh, Falcon, cool. Hi, Falcon. Whoa, whoa, easy there, fella. Xerxes. His name is Xerxes. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> hey, what do you got going on down there, Quagmire? You, you, got, a, you got a rodent situation? Ah, uh, no! Get off my plane! Get off my plane! Get off my plane! Oh! All right! Yeah, this is amazing! I know, it's unbelievable! Hey, guys, let's try to recreate this feeling for the rest of our lives with drugs. Oh. Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front! Tony, come back! Hey, champ, I want you to have this pocket watch. It still works, even though it's got a lot of Civil War brains all over it. Meg? I want you to have this sad-sounding fart. Chris, people are going to tell you that you're stupid and that you're no good. Bye, Otis. Well, it looks like it's almost time for us to pull our cords. Wait, wait, guys. How about this? Last one to open their chute gets 20 bucks. Okay. I'm in. Oh, damn it! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe to Blasphemous HD Twisms.